Hello, hello, and welcome back to Monday Night Live Carving. Tonight we are carving the chicken. Um, you might have seen the picture. It's up on, um, obviously, the, um, the main post. Oops, sorry about that. Um, but tonight we are bidding, or hopefully you guys are bidding, for the praying mantis. Now I'll bring Scott and the boys in in a second. Um, in fact, I'll bring them in now. That's all right with you, gents. So, we've got full house tonight. We've got Dale from oh, Major Street Studios. We've got Beard oh. MP, Blue Light Turner, and we've also got JP down in the bottom corner there. Um, ah. the um, and thank you for uh, being the worms of the ears. Um, no, I'm going to get cracking oh. on um, the carving. Um, and if you, Scott, want to do your thing, let everyone know what it's for. We'll say hi to everyone in the chat and all that kind of stuff. Yeah? Cool. Yeah, no problem. Sweet. Oh, bummer. Thank all you, right. I'll... Uh, Oh, yeah, I just see why you said bummer. That's quite cool. Yeah, I know. I'm just <laughs> Sorry. <as> well. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm going to stick myself on mute. So look, this is out of polyester, so it's going to be dusty as you like. So I will be wearing my dust mask. Um, so I will be muted for a while. I'll stop because it's going to get hot in here um, and have a break in a little bit. So um, any questions, ask me then. Um, but yeah. Cool. When can I have it? <laughs> yeah, man, I drop it off. It's my chicken. Share us I've, got, mate. I've got um, uh, I've got work on Wednesday, so I drop okay, it. In. Cool. Cool. So Andy, uh, Andy's making me this choked chicken, guys. Tonight, you know, remember the the spitting image, choked chicken. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, so there's uh, the, R Richard and myself already started the was going to start the bid for 20 grand. I had mine typed out ready to press enter. And me, same it, yeah. didn't get the chance to. Uh, but Wayne, Wayne, Wayne is Wayne already started the bid set uh, 45 pounds. So I let, let Scott explain to where the money's going. <clears throat> so, like many other makers, Andy has been really kind um, and is donating his mantis. Um, for auction tonight, the money is going to the family of one of my crewmates that passed away to COVID um, on the 22nd of April. Um, so we're trying to raise as much money as we can um, just to help his wife and his two boys. You know, after 32 years serving London, um, a fit, healthy man gets taken by this horrible virus. So let's see what we can do to support the family. Yeah, um, it's great. If you want a big guys, um, if you can write bid and then your amount, um, it just makes it easier for us to keep an eye on the bids in the chat. And Wayne, you're, thank you very much for bidding so far. You're yeah. a moderator, by the way, now, uh, Scott, so you can drop your link in. Yeah. And cool, I will drop the link in. Um, cool. If you don't want a bid, but you'd just like to make a donation, um, this is the Just Giving page we've got set up. Um, so, so uh, go on, mate. So the bid at the moment is forty-five pound to Wayne. And that's me done, guys. I'm going to make a coffee yeah. quickly. I've, I've already got my coffee made for me. I haven't been in long. I like in shower. The family are really like obviously with all the COVID stuff. So when I work. I'm not allowed in the house. So I have to come around the back of the house, strip off everything in the utility room. There's a towel waiting for me. I'll go straight in the shower. Um, and then once all that's done and I'm clean, then people will start talking to me. Uh, yeah, Mr. Listen. Maple Tree Studios has put £45 on a penny. <laughs> Wayne the Wood Turner has put £50. Oh, well done, Wayne. That's brilliant. 50 quid. I'm out bid, sorry. 
I was going to have a bid, but I ain't got 50 quid. <laughs> I know. I've just spent a fortune on a new CNC machine. Oh, I spent 200 quid with Taylor's Murfield last night. Ooh. Well, the then pen's not... The Maybe pens that I'm doing for you on fifty pound in a penny um, have just taken off, Andy. So I've like went to make some more pens and I've run out. Hi, Steve. So are we got to sing the chicken song then. No, just be an image one. You got to throw a chicken in the air. <laughs> Stick a dead chair up your nose or something, innit? Steve yeah. Coombs, £51 and a penny. Oh, well done, Steve. £51. £51 and a penny by Steve. Hi, David. This is, for the, this is for the praying mantis that Andy's carved, not for the chicken. You'll have to fight me for the chicken. Rich, what do you use to glue the GPS together? I use, if I ever glue the GPS, um, what's, oh, and he's got Bostic. I use Gorilla Glue, uh, but I use Gorilla Glue gel. Okay. That's only on uh, acrylic, though. Um, Andy, I think, is using the Bostic on the um, polyester, which that is. That's gel as well, the Bostic. <laughs> Yeah. So does does that glue the um, the polyester better, Andy? Because I know you had trouble glue, glue the polyester. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the the Kerenite, um acrylic use the the gel. Um, yep. All that industrial grade super glue that Andy's got there is cheaper. I've ordered some of the um, Starbright stuff or Starbond or whatever it is. The yeah. JP yeah Starbond. Stuff. Yeah. Um, but I'm waiting for that to come. But I've got loads of those little squares um, that come in the crafters pack. Oh yeah, so yeah. I, I want to do something with them. What? Well, see, when you when you've got those, put the glue on and and rub it vigorously. Rub two pieces together vigorously, and what yep. you do, you create a suction, um, and you won't get any bubbles, no voids in there at all. You know, spin them round and rub them. Create some I've friction. Got to, got to do Ali's magnifying glass as well. So I've got to glue the um, top onto the keranite. Just rough them up first, though, with some, um, I don't know, some four or five hundred grit. Yeah, yeah. Um, just just so it gives it a you know good uh, bonding surface. Yeah, I've built a different kit to the one I used um, last time. Because the one I had last time has a tube right through the middle of it, and it's not the best kit in the world. Whereas Procraft do a really nice kit where the bit just you turn a spigot and it goes inside the magnifying glass. All oh, right. I'm doing it as a surprise for her because she liked the other one. So come on, guys, share this out to hit that uh, thumb. Um, yeah. Get a, let's get a few bids. I mean, we're up to yeah. fifteen. 51 pounds now 51 51 pound and a penny from steam coo steve coombs um, 18 watching so let's share out and try and them um, yeah <coughs> try and get some more people in i'm going to be cheeky and share it in the work page that's a good idea All those people that are sitting there on double time on their under pound bonus doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, so the, uh, at the moment the bid still stands at fifty one pound and a penny by Steve Coombs. Cool. Is there a picture of the mantis on Andy's Facebook page? Do we know? Uh, I'm sure there's one on his Instagram, so I can go and grab that if you want. It's going on with my computer. Uh, 
That's the spider, that's the mantis. Right, so let me just take that and take that. Right, so this is what everyone's bidding on at the moment over on Andy's Instagram. Hmm. JP, can you send it to me on uh, Messenger? No. No, okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I'm just thinking I haven't got a hunt for it, then I can just put it straight in the uh, work page. Right, I just shared it on Facebook. Hmm. We've got 21 watching and 17 likes now, Andy. Nice, nice, nice. So Steve is still the highest bidder at £51 and a penny. Yep. So what's everyone been up to today anyway? Saving lives. <laughs> no, sleeping. There you go. <laughs> I've been... Uh doing the chickens i've been reinforcing the chicken run and shopping mm. there you go have they started making a break for it then andy i've, I've got to go Talk back to me, and watch. rich, rich. Yeah, rich they, <laughs> have they started making they're, a break for it they're not but um the pir that's in the chicken coop has been going off like mad over the last so let, let, let's, see what the, let's see what the chat's been up to so steve ellis has been lacquering ian the shed has been on the scroll saw uh nick the flaming turner had a haircut oh, that's about it uh steve <laughs> coombs went on a motorcycle ride with his neighbor um when the wood turner made a coffee scoop um steve from sk craft has been back on the lathe after a week yeah, he did that really nice bowl that he's uh, going to be all Jeff Christie all got time. Jeff Christie got up to five foot five. <laughs> <laughs> did Jeff see that I gave him a shout out? I think. I don't know. Don't know. I found one of your uh, OG stickers, Rich. What OG stickers? Yeah, as an original gangster. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the tree on. Uh, was it one of the tree? <laughs> yes, it was. It has got the tree on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was in because I had a. I've got a drawer, and it's uh, like it was a more. You know, you you have a drawer like, in your workshop, and it's like kind of like a, a, it's got. You just chuckle your spare stuff in there. Like you have a drawer for yeah. everything, but then there's an extra drawer that you think, you know, that can just go in there. I have a workbench for that sort of stuff. Yeah, well, <laughs> normally I did until I decided it was time to clear it up. Mm. But I found it, found it in there with a few other stickers. Cool. So, yeah, Jeff, Jeff, it was in uh, my latest upload. <clears throat> yeah. So, I want to go and uh, I want to go back and watch the the. Sp Bradley McAllister's uh, the, the channel name is Spirocraft. Um, apparently, he's, he, I missed the end of the the stream, but apparently he's going to be starting to sell something called Magic Dust. So, uh, and that's supposed to be good for that's supposed to be used in the turning world at some point. Oh, right. But so I, I never got to. I never got to. Yeah, I never got to actually see what it was. The first one's not free, then. No. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go back and see what it actually is. I still didn't see the end result of Wayne's coffee scoop. Come on, nice. I'll have, love, I'll have a look at it later. I stayed as long as I could. Unfortunately, it wasn't a practice coffee scoop. <laughs> Did it come off the life? <laughs> Only when Wayne decided it wanted it to. Oh. Uh, 
Paul Wink. To be honest, I only caught the last 15 minutes of it because I was going up the tip. Your tip's open then, Jamie. Yeah, you can only do one one visit per household. Yeah. But we've, we've been twice because my... <laughs> it's quite funny, actually. My dad uh, put in my sister's address. So <laughs> and then my sister turned around and had a go at my dad because she was like, well, I've got a bed to get rid of. My dad would say, well, just break it up and put it in your garage. <laughs> <laughs> our tip has been mental i don't think think there's anything like you know you can only go a certain amount of times because um i went down there at half seven last week and the queue i was already the fifth one in the queue it doesn't open till nine by nine o'clock there's probably 35 40 cars queuing to get in there and it's like that yeah. all, all day long it's like that because that you know that there's been such a long uh, space between it closing and reopening stuff mounts up doesn't it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah our tip's still shut is it yeah i'm on the verge of hiring a mini skip i've already got like one of those big builder bags full of stuff oh the book bags yeah yeah. yeah, I looked like because our local council does a pickup, and it's 110 pound mm. for a bulk bag to be picked up. Wow, which is mad. which is a metre square, or you can get a two cubic metre skip for 110 quid. Well, I might as well. Yeah, look at that. And you can ram it all in there. Yeah. Well, well, depends. How That's what she it. said. Well, uh, well oh. a lot of it's wood. I wanted to burn it, but I've been told no. I'm not allowed to destroy any more fire pits that we have. Yeah, apparently so. Don't forget, everybody, the bid is still at £51 and a penny by Steve Coombs for the uh, the praying mantis that Andy carved a couple of weeks ago. Um, after this live, everyone can again head over and subscribe to Wayne the Wood Turner. He's going to be using metal reactive paints on Wednesday. How long is this uh, the, the fundraiser going on for, Scott? I don't know at the moment. Um, <coughs> I think all the time people are still donating, then it, they're going to keep carry it on. Open. Yeah. Well, that's, well, that's reassuring to know then, because I, I still want to donate something or auction something off. But I'll think yeah, what I, I might. Yeah, until, I mean, I, don't, I still don't know what's happening with my headset yet. I've got everything else, I'm just waiting for the headset, and I can't phone them today because it's been quite late to find out when it, where where it is. Yeah, I did that today. I tried ringing record power. Didn't get any answer. No. <laughs> I might do that uh, Tuesday. I might, whatever I make, uh, I'll auction it live. Cool. Not sure what should, I'm making. You, you should have said that you were trying to contact Record Power. I've got their phone number. I've got their mobile numbers. <laughs> they, could be, they could be sitting at home right now and I could just phone them. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, I'll do it tomorrow. I'm sure. I don't know whether it's because it was a bank holiday today or what, but, you know, in a 12-hour shift, we did three jobs, whereas normally we do eight. Yeah. It was weird. Everyone was in their gardens, probably. Uh, barbecue and stuff. Not complaining. It was quite nice. Especially like only having a couple of hours of sleep last night. It was nice to just have some downtime. Yeah. I might, I might do another wall hanging or something like that. You know, like one I've done for Pam. Yeah. I might do another thing like that. Wow. <laughs> You know, that's something I've never done. I've never done one of those um, wall hanger type things. You know, like, um, oh, what's his name? I know Wayne does them as well. But, uh... I've got two practice pieces. Well, I so say I've got two practice pieces from them. There's two in my house that both got stolen off of me by my parents. Oh, John Clothier. That's what I was thinking of. He does a lot oh, of Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I might do that. I might do something like that. Tuesday. Like the ones with a boss in the middle, you mean? Yeah, yeah. I've got gold leaf and stuff like that. And I've got some um, stains. Well, Cheryl's got some. some actually, I've got some, uh, actually, I've got a nice piece of horse chestnut, actually. That could make a nice... Uh, what do you call it? How do you know it's horse chestnut? I don't know. Um... So let me just quickly read out this comment first from Nick. Uh, Nick said the NHS bow is at forty-seven pound at the moment. I think it might jump tomorrow before it ends. Cool. Fantastic. Thank you, Nick. So um, Richard Morley, uh, he's he's friends with a guy that um, that owns a, a mill near where he lives, um, and we went to visit it uh, when I went up there when. Uh, Jake Thompson was over for Maker Central and it's a private owned mill so it's not open to the public or anything like that and um, so I'll tell you, I'm telling you mate, some of the wood that the guy's got in this place is absolutely incredible and uh, yeah he, he got it there this, some of the wood that he's got there he can tell you the exact dates of when it was felled who owned the tree where it was felled and all that sort of mm. stuff because um, it's just he's got to go. Cheers for coming in, mate. Take it easy, cuz. So this this piece of horse chestnut that I've got came from a, a tree from I think it was from like the, the marks of Granbury or something like that. He had it or something like that. From like the seventeen hundreds. Nice. It's always nice when you can get a bit of history for mm. what you're turning. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So I've been kind of reluctant. I've had it for what a couple of years. Well, when did Jake come over? Twenty eighteen, wasn't it? So I've had it for about a year. Oh, it's, yeah. like, <clears throat> it's one of them things you have a bit of wood and you just don't want to touch it. Mm. Have you heard of Navy Days at Portsmouth? No, nah. nah. it's it's when they open up the dock. Uh, all the Navy um, they open the whole thing up anyway. Oh, so, yeah. <clears throat> I went to I one did, as a kid. Did you? I yeah. did the security on the Victory. Um, and at the time, they were restoring a part of it. And there was a skip with loads of big chunks of the Victory in the skip. Hello. Um, <laughs> looking back on it now, I wish I'd have grabbed some of it. So I, I, know, the, I, there's the, I know the guy that, that was in charge of the process of the restoring HMS victory. He's actually got a YouTube channel. Uh-huh. So, he, we... yeah, he's, he sent Carl a piece of HMS victory and Carl sent, sent it to me. And uh, I gave it to James DeMort and Mike and he, he gave it to Steve <laughs> to turn up uh, something out of. Um, but he didn't get around to it and make a central and so he, he gave, eventually, gave it, eventually gave it back to James... And he made a beer tap and away of it, I think. Nice. Nice. But there was loads in that skip. I mean, I mean and it had all the black bitumen stuff all over it and all sorts. Yeah. <clears throat> the bit the bit that I had had a bit of like a goldy yellow paint on it still. Yeah. I'll tell you what, that was spooky that was. Two o'clock in the morning, sitting in the victory was proper spooky. Yeah, I can <clears> imagine. I mean, even though it's dry docked, it still moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's made of wood, hasn't it? Mm. Well, yeah, yeah. So just the wood itself will expand and contract at different speeds, even though it's old. Yeah, <laughs> that is yeah. it. The heat yep. of the outside and that, and cooling down yeah. at night. You know, my, my dad gets seasick uh, sitting at the docks of Dover. All right, he doesn't. He don't like boats whatsoever. So he gets seasick just looking out at the water. Yeah. How does he feel about inflatable bulls? <laughs> 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 He'd happily buy them. <laughs> does he have to go on it yet? 
I don't know, to be honest. I think uh, my nephew has. And uh, my wife has. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, Scott, Wayne just put a link in the chat for you. Uh, for hippo bags. Plastic oh, skip right. bags. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Cheers, Wayne. <coughs> Does that mean if they're hippo bags, I can put the mother-in-law in it? They're about, <laughs> depending which ones you get, you can get like a ton bag. They're about like a ton bag, and they just come along and pick them up and take them away. <coughs> so if you've got a lot of rubbish, you might want to phone round our way, you might want to phone Cox Skips. Yeah, so it'll all go in one of those mini skips. Yeah, I give me. I mean, the hippo bags are pretty cool, but if uh, if it's not big enough, then give Cox a phone, mate. And that's the C O X. Um, yeah, they're down your way. Chris oh, they're at Scrinsty, did not uh, they? They are, sir. Just joined. And good evening, Mister Cute. Thanks, Wayne. <clears throat> Hello, Chris. <clears throat> Ian in the shed as well. I think he's just joined. Oh, oh nice. We've got 17 in and 18 thumbs up. So I'll just uh, just let everybody know again. The bid is still at uh, £51 and a penny for the uh, the Prime Mantis that Andy made. I'll put a link to uh, if you want to check out what it looks like in the, uh, in the chat now. There we go. Wayne's put I've I've decided I really like the mantis so expect another bid. Oh tactical, Ooh. tactical bidding. Ooh. He's gonna be one of these eBayers and wait right till the last minute. <laughs> yeah. Uh Wayne's put fifty five pound. <laughs> cool. Cool, them hippo bags are even dearer than our uh, council. <clears throat> That's why, look, I see, you may want to look at the size and then give Cox a tinkle. Yeah. See, when we, it, it's mainly the old decking from around the barbecue. And when we took Pardon it up, I thought, yeah, I thought I'd burn it. Um, but after what, the what, fire, what, would, what wood's the decking? I don't know, it was just cheap softwood decking boards. It's rotten as hell. That's why we took it up. Um, but after the fire brigade <coughs> arriving the other week, and someone having a someone giving you a hard time, that's what that is. Yeah, <laughs> fireflies coming to noise up a paramedic. Oh, I mean, that'll have been priceless. What do the oh, fireflies what? call the paramedics? I don't know. We don't call them fireflies. We call them water fairies. Oh, oh water fairies. Oh. But what do the water fairies call the paramedics? Don't know. They haven't told us yet. We've got so many at work because obviously they're we driving our ambulances still at the moment. Mm -hmm. It made us laugh because they come in. They said, "Oh, they said they're quiet at the moment." We did four jobs tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just because we haven't got beds and duvets and whatever, guys. Did they ever jump out, run around the back, and then try to find a, a hose? <laughs> <laughs> So we, we were driving back tonight. So my last job took me to the Princess Royal at Farnborough. So we're driving back to Croydon. Uh, Keith had just put Scott Horsham Waste Site is open. Oh, so I you, you may still shut. You, you may want to check uh, check that out unless Keith knows uh, instead. Let's see if they're doing the same thing as up if it's one household per thing. But if that's no, the I'll... case, you have to you have to register online. I just use it, Keith's address. <laughs> Yeah, you, you should have to, have to find it in your local um, um, council. They're all office. taking black bags, most of those <clears> places, though. Yeah. yeah. Thought... yeah you have to, if it's the same as us, you have to register your number plate online. Oh, I was, I don't know if, like, before they sh all this and it's shut, you have to have ID to prove that you lived in the West Sussex area. We We do. We have to show our postcode. Cool. 
Looks like I might be going to the tip on Friday then. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> so where are you putting your chicken, Rich? In with the chickens, or are you going to keep it in the workshop? I'm eating mine. I shall tell you what. I shall tell you what that would remind me of. Right. What Rich should do with that? He should have a hole in the top of its head. And Richard Ware is a medallion. You know, like that guy that had a massive clock? The rapper? Yeah. <clears throat> you did say clock, right? Yes, clock. Yes, he did. He is going to live... Um, I don't know. It's not going outside. It's going to... It's probably going to live in the house on my mantelpiece. Cool. Cyril's in the workshop. He's Andy. just some weeds to arrive. Find the end of it and make it a dibbler. A, a dibber? Oh. <laughs> no, but then Cheryl will steal it. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean now, yeah. <clears throat> just round it over. And then Cheryl will steal it. <laughs> that point commentary uh, around commentary around the ferocity of the grip that Cheryl may have upon Richard's chicken can be brought to brought into the conversation very carefully. Chris Chris Cooch just found the name I was looking for. It's Flavor Flav. So it could be Richie Rich. No, that wouldn't be work out right, would it? <laughs> Scott uh, Richard. Clock, SK yeah. Steve said it was the blood fairies, apparently you're called. Ah, all right. Um, Jeff, Scott, when you did your clock, is there pins you can buy for it? I was gonna buy a door hinge pins. Um, so all I used was I got some key ring kits. Um, so I just used the brass tubes and then the little end caps. Um but if you have a look on Procraft website, they do all sorts of different wood turning kits, bits for boxes, different hinges, fancy little bits to go on the end of things. Um, I bought some paperweight, brass paperweight things I've done. I want to have a go using one of them on a bit of GPS. Yeah. Um, so yeah, have a look uh, at Procraft because they do all sorts. Uh, Keith says it doesn't say that any different uh, reg uh, regulations are enforced at the moment. Cool. They never help you down there anyway, so that won't matter. <clears throat> we, we, when we went to the one today, uh, they were allowing five cars in at a time. That's it. Usually it's jam-packed. So at least they're taking precautions down there, which is yeah. good. Yeah. I'll just do like... Um, Rich did and get there really early. Yeah. Hobby Turner's just joined. Don't forget, everybody, Wayne the Wood Turner is uh, winning the bid at £55. And he really likes it, so he might want to bid outbid him. Hello, Hobby Turner. Dad, what did your bit go for yesterday, Neil? 47, wasn't it? Well, I've been, mentally, I've been sitting at about 48. You need to tell me, <laughs> to be honest. I'll have a look at the just. I think it, I think it was 48. Yeah, 48 sounds about right. I'm scoffing my face with digestives. I've got a uh, a dime dairy milk bar sitting right next to me. Nice, nice. But then I really like. Then I remembered I'm diabetic. Tommy Dunn for Harlequin. There you go. Forty-seven. Cool. And cheers, Jeff Christie, for the donation on the Just Giving page.
It is calling my name, Steve. It's probably calling me a few other names as well, but... So they just plain digest if you've got... <laughs> They're not, actually. Have you got <laughs> one of these new all... all uh... Oh, adorable flavours. No, ca are they caramel? Oh, no, caramel. see, they're all right. Mm. I had some cherry bakewell ones the other day. Mm. Oh, Wayne Wood Turner says he's scoffing his face with fermented grape juice. <laughs> <laughs> As usual. Uh, what's this? Uh, Bless is in to say hello. Uh, Hobby Turner says, I have just made my first video for YouTube. What I thought I had, the camera was set on still images, not video. So one picture of the table as I set the camera up in position. Don't. Welcome guys, to my world. Did you guys see that Mark went live for a bit last night? I did notice that, yeah. I haven't got around to watching it yet. <coughs> it was more looked like a camera test. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, he wasn't sure on a few bits. I think there was only me and one other watching it. Um, but we helped him out, shared him some links and stuff. So I think it'll be good if he can do some lives. I've actually uh, lost count of the times I've done that. Thought the camera is recording and it's not. So Scott from SK, uh, sorry, Steve from SK Crafts. Yep. Said he's going live tomorrow afternoon at three o'clock if anyone's about. If I'm not doing anything. Or... Oh dear. What's happened here? Oh hello. What's that? And hey, your camera's gone off, mate. It's flashing at the moment. Oh, there you go. Hey, it's go mate. On. It's all right, it's on now. Uh Hobby Turner, I can't do lives as a broadband won't reach the garage. That's your area of expertise, Adele. <clears throat> no, it's not. It just kind of seems to have become that person. But uh, do it, get 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 some get some internet theories around to to work on it. Is there such a thing as internet theories? There is now. Waiting for on a link from you, Dale. Yeah, I haven't done it. Uh, right Emmett from Dead Rise Woodcrafts is in the house. He says he's making Andy's maker swap today. SK Cross, no, but there is a Dale Fairy. I'm guilty of many crimes. <clears throat> I've been more devil than fairy. Goblin rather than fairy, I feel. Wayne says, I think Dale has enough on his plate. Dale never has enough on his plate. He always has a takeaway. I'm rather partial to a takeaway. 
Just looking for Keith's uh, arm. Tell you what, let's get this auction going. This Chris Q, tell you what, let's get this auction going. I'll bid $100, which I think works out to £82. Now, wouldn't that be a tragedy for a Yank to win the bidding on an auction that benefits the UK family? Thank oh. you very much, Chris. £82 it is for Chris. Well done, Chris. That's really good. Well, thanks, Chris. Cheers, dude. Well, wow. <laughs> brilliant. Ah, <coughs> uh, uh, faster. Do I do a little dance or something? Or? I don't know. Yes, go on. Awesome. Go on, do a Viking. Do a Viking dance. There we go. He's not one yet. Right. Um. Uh. Right. Um. Yeah. Hold on. I don't know what happened there. My uh, internet just... Uh, Blair, Blair said, question for everyone. If you are watching a turning YouTube video, what do you think uh, the appropriate length should be? Um, around 10 minutes or so, I would have said. Yeah, I'll agree. That's, that's what YouTube seems to like as well for their algorithm because uh, it allows them to play ads on the... Uh, if it's anything under 10 minutes, they won't play ads on your video. And it also gives you a chance to get your enough watch time because people tend to watch it roughly around half of the video. Uh, Blair, if you do a um, update to Windows 10, you'll lose Movie Maker. So if it comes up as a, uh, with an update, don't update. <laughs> well, you can, but because uh, there's some few, there's quite a few uh, free softwares out there anyway. Well, I was looking for yeah, Movie Maker. I used to like until oh, I got Movie this Make right. Movie Maker was so easy to use. Yeah, real easy. But now I've got Shotcut. It's just it's just a no brainer. I love it. I've got to get used to it. What Shotcut? I, I yeah. use Phil Mor I use Phil Mora. They're all pretty much the same, really. To be yeah. honest, I use DaVinci Resolve sixteen. Da Vinci is one of them free ones, is it not? Yeah, it's a paid studio app that there's a free version of. Um, you you got to get some of the features. Some of the features. That's why I like um, Shotcut because it's literally there's everything that you need on there and more. <laughs> Wayne says he doesn't do videos, only lives. In DaVinci is awesome. Once you get your head around it and you start using the OpenFX standard, unless you share all the Adobe Premiere stuff, you can go absolutely nuts. You should do all those mad multi compositing camera corrections. You can stack them all up across a video graph, which gives you huge, huge opportunities to correct for all the cock ups we make Hang as on. amateur we've filmers. We've got another bid come through, guys. £83 Ooh. pounds from Steve Coombs. Did he say, is that Touche or did he call Chris a Touche? Yeah, no, <laughs> a Touche. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Chris has been outbid then because Chris was 82, so Steve Coombs has been 83. Chris doesn't look 82. Oh, I see what you're on about. Ten twenty, says Mike. That's a, that's a long way from my twenty quid bid earlier, isn't it? <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, it's nice. Also says a lot about Andy's work. Oh, yeah? They're cool, Andy's carvings. I'm just happy to, uh, to own one of Andy's originals. That's your phone. <laughs> You having trouble getting that in there, Andy? Is there a, there's a screw up uh, on the end, isn't there? No, not Andy's on the speaker. Not on the speaker. Like it's probably just dusted up. <clears throat> when you push down on it, it it moves a bearing inside, which expands the blue rubber. Ah, and that's what holds it on. So it's probably just got dust or something in there. Now he's got it on there. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do I'm going to do wall art tomorrow night. There you go. You're going to do some bit, do a few off center bits to it. Yeah, why not? I don't know. Just make it completely random, and I don't know. We'll see what happens. It will turn out how it turns out, won't it? But it, either way, it will be original piece of art. <laughs> I've been trying that uh, crackle medium to try and because I want to do like a crackle effect bowl. What the crackle um, glaze? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So you can buy some spray paint that crackles. Yeah, from B and Q, and um, Wilkinsons do it cheaper than B and Q actually. Oh. I think it's five five pound a um, a spray can, and I think they do the stone effect one as well yeah i know um wixes do it i think as well is that wilkinson's wixes no wix the uh yeah. the wait the um construction place oh i'm thinking of wilco and i yeah <clears throat> wilkinson's might do it as well though or wilco's because they sell a range of different things they do they do yeah So, hmm. my, uh, my picture of me, the man from Del Monte hat has gone back to normal. It was on, what was it, 4.2 million views and 17,000 likes. <laughs> <laughs> Does the name Phil Bolter ring a bit any bells to you guys? Yeah, he's a wood turner, yep. I think. Yep. Uh, he's just sent me a message about donating something to uh, Ian. Cool. Has he got a YouTube channel? Um, I don't know. He's bound to be on Insta or something, isn't he? I think is it not? Is it not? It's not. It's not Phil makes things. So Midnight Joker, those rubber chickens were my mate's dog, Riggs, most favourite thing in the world. He went mental when he saw one. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Steve Coombe says, Phil is a regular in a lot of the chats. Uh, yeah. I'll yeah. Keep my eyes out. There's... Um... There's a place down in Ramsgate uh, near the uh, near the harbour, and there's uh, loads of these rubber chickens in the window. 
Oh, so Phil works with Martin Sabin Smith. Ah. So I might have met him. I might have already met him because when I went and did the course that Martin had a load of his staff there. I think so there was have... like two guys there, so it might be. Been... So we have twenty seven watching Andy. Cool. <clears throat> And the bid still stands at eighty-three pounds with Steve Coombs for the uh, the praying mantis. This is starting to look really good, Andy. I love mm -hmm. I love the cheeks. <laughs> look at the cheeks. You just give them a good squeeze, couldn't you? Cheryl was sitting in the chicken pen earlier on, feeding them um, live mealworms. And they were literally crawling all over her, jumping up onto her to eat these bloody mealworms. Well, one of the uh, I was holding the chicken. I was holding the box in my left hand and I see. The monsters. How did they get on with them um, bits you cut out, Rich? The apple and the sweet corn? It scared them. It didn't work. No, it it, it just scared them. Um, so Cheryl's rats are gonna have them because they they will literally hold them in their in their hands and they'll eat the eat the way at the uh, the fruits. Whereas every time the chickens pecked at them, they swung across. Yeah, you know, yeah. And then they'd leg it because they were scared. Because <laughs> yeah. I saw one of your videos the other day where you had something green hanging up and they all went and run off. Yeah, that was a a, a, a bouquet of, of herbs for them. I like to give them lots of treats. I've always wanted oh, chickens, but I think I'm still with them. Shannon's just reminded me about putting them away. They go in on their own, but I need to go and shut the lock them up right back in a minute. Uh, Hobby Turner's back. You're not, gonna, you're not gonna believe this but right so um i've just clicked on facebook right and refresh my feed first things that come up in my sponsored ads hippo or hippo bags yeah contact free driver collection flexible reliable and ultra strong hippo bags collected from your home when you are ready suitable for heavy weights such as bricks and soil and rubble They're listening. Uh, Hobby Turner, what is it made from? It's polyester, isn't it, this one? Yeah, yeah. polyester. I need a breather. Okie dokie. I was getting a bit dusty. Did that parcel arrive, Andy? Yes, it did. I did send you a message saying thank you, didn't I? No? Okay, clearly I didn't. Thank you, Scott. I don't know. I got the message. <laughs> no problem, mate. I got the parcel. Thank you. 
Uh, Wayne says, uh, sorry, oh. Jeppy. That's okay as long as you weren't talking about uh, ladies' underwear or anything like that. So I haven't got that appearing in my feed. People might think of wondering what I'm buying. buying. Well, we know your secret, JP. Yeah. I'm actually using some of that tonight, actually. It, it's, uh, it's bad enough when I get seen wearing it. Ugh. I need a scalpel. Not that well, what, what, when Scott says that, then you start worrying. <laughs> I've got a splinter. Oh, Scott's got a splinter, ready? <laughs> Maybe the elephant packed and shrunk. <laughs> Scott's got a splinter. Chest compression's quick. It's a fart ass little thing, it's been annoying me all day. When I was carving today, I... Do you say you got you a bandsaw? Yeah, I did that on my thumb. Ha ha, very funny. Well, while I'm taking a breather, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of a couple of these bad boys. Ooh! Um, so, if you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you need to be following me on one of those two. Um, in the next couple of not the chicken battle, obviously. Um, yeah, you need to be following me on either Instagram or Facebook, and they'll be coming up soon. I will put your Instagram over on the what's it? So this you... is it's only his Instagram. If you're not following him, go and do it. I said Facebook for the benefit of those that don't do Instagram. There are a few people that don't, apparently. Steve Coon says, whilst on his motorcycle ride earlier, he came across a wood lay for sale in someone's front yard. So I went back to look at it, and it was an old Rockwell Delta at like 632, and a guy wanted $900 for it. Bargain. <laughs> uh, Chris, uh, Chris, this is fu quite funny actually. Chris Q said, "Insta what?" Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Oh, yeah. Go on. Uh, <sighs> I'm back. He's back. Ah. Uh, what am I going to do? Yeah. Uh, two little black circles from this. The world. I want these two balls. I need to stick in there. I don't want them raised up, so you're going to have to dig a little hole, put the little circle thing in, glue it in, sand it down so it's a nice and blush. Oh, yeah. Hmm, what are we getting there? <laughs> yeah. So oh, looks awful that side, but yeah, look at that. Looking good. Uh, Hobby Turner, yeah, it's all right, it's still there. <laughs> it's a bit painful writing with it today, but so the the bid is still at eighty three pound by Steve Coombs. That's awesome. Yeah, do you want to whack up the Just Giving page again, uh, Scott? Yes, I can. Uh, His barrel's really still see. there. He's not. He's been very quiet. Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Okay. That's not too bad, is it? Nah. Nah. Tidying up the edges around the feet where it was square. Obviously now it's not square. Oh, 
Right, I'm going to concentrate on what you were actually going to do. Right. Some idiot has hit the thumb down. We got twenty two watching anyway, Andy. Someone's put the thumb down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well. Never mind. Dilly gaff. Jealousy's a terrible thing. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Oh, who am I looking for? That one. You wouldn't say it to my face, don't do it behind my back. And I can tell you wouldn't do it to my face because. <clears throat> I like the <laughs> Wayne rule where we just don't talk about them. Yeah, that's a good show. Scum shouldn't be mentioned. Oh, I better change it to a thumb up then, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's right. It's all right. You still got one. You had two when I I put your thumbs down. But anyway, <sighs> have we got any youngsters in the chat? Yeah, Jamie. Are you a youngster? Are you Are you... the phone? No, Baz's comment. Oh. YouTube, YouTube have held it. Ah, right, okay. I haven't seen any youngsters in the chat. <coughs> yeah, Jamie. Yeah, but Jamie don't count because he's French. Good show. Are we going to leave that one, guys? Yeah, we'll leave it. <coughs> Just in case, yeah, we have got someone watching. Oh, actually, but Baz should be a moderator anyway, but not if he's going to be naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Baz, what can be given can be taken away, dear boy. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'll be done. I'll my fault is out. That counts. He has said he's a youngster. There's a better way of saying that, Buzz. Pretty sure I know who the pathetic individual is anyway. Uh, Tommy Dunn, do people just go around and put it? Someone does. Yeah. Some douche. Douchebag. It didn't happen. It's not there. They're not no. worth talking about. Agreed. Nope. Nope. I can't believe you're sticking super glue in that poor chicken's eyeball. <laughs> it don't matter, it don't hurt unless you put activator on it. Oh, okay then. Yeah. The startled look in this chicken's face. I feel <laughs> that, that this could be a possible accessory that you could sell to Ann Summers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, let, I'll let you know when I've tested it. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, ch I've just put my coffee in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. 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 <laughs> I've got coffee all over the bloody floor now. <laughs> is it going to oh, be? Is, is, is it going to be? Is it going to be grooved for 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 Rich's pleasure? <laughs> <laughs> That's just uh, disturbing. Just take a note of him. And he's a sicko. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who, so who said that? Was that Richard that said that? Sorry, was that I... Richard? Was that Richard <laughs> the Clay, the Clay Bennett that said that? Was it? <laughs> it's when he sticks the plasticine on the chicken. As long oh, as the plasticine only goes in the chicken, it's when he decides to do something else with it. That's quite disturbing. That'd be the biggest cock you've ever seen. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Wayne says chickens and plasticy come to mind. <laughs> Scott, do you want um, do you want to buy a vintage tracksuit I bought? A vintage tracksuit? It, no, right, it, it doesn't fit me. You can have it. I'll send you a picture of it. Um, oh, it's going cheap. I was, oh, no. Don't open it. I, just, I, just <laughs> the other day and took I know. I know what he's talking about. <laughs> I'm going to send it to you, Scott. <laughs> right. Let me give this a quick. Um... What What did you think I... of the jib early? Uh, the jib jab earlier on, Jamie, of Wayne. Very, very funny. <laughs> I was bored. My crewmate was in with a patient, so I was playing with Chip Chip. Did you send it to him? Yeah. <laughs> Have I got you on Facebook? I sent you a friend request ages ago. As the blue light said, Andy, that's oh, loud. No, I think it was Scott Grant. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, yes. That appears yeah, only one T. Yeah, it's the one with uh, the minion. Minion? Yeah, it's me as a minion as the profile page. I've got two Facebooks, but this is the one I use. That's a long story for another day. I don't know if I accepted your request, actually. I can't see it. I've got... No. A platinum ambulance service, Scott Aldridge. No, that's my so that's my other one. I don't use. I've got one right, Richard Bennett. Do, 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 do. <coughs> Why are you coming up? He blocked yeah. you. Yeah, I sent it to him. For, I sent it to him for you, Rich. All right, cheers. Yeah, let me know if you want it. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne said he didn't think it was funny. He thought it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd fit in it, Rich. <laughs> 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 uh, where are you? Which up in it? Oh, there you go. I'd spell Bennett with one T, that's what I can find you. Oh yeah, I see it, yeah. Great. Shouldn't know because the next ride along is Bennett's Road, and the mother in law lives in it. Uh -huh. We have we have uh, a formally created Bennett syndrome, though. We did today, did you? Yeah, Bennett syndrome is when your phone runs out of power when you're on a live. <laughs> <laughs> We've, we've, we've identified three sufferers at the moment. Your good self, your dad, and <laughs> Barry. And <laughs> <laughs> Barry. <laughs> oh, you got 26 thumbs up now, and the, uh, the thingy has disappeared. When the battery runs up. Yeah, the flaming turtle says, looks like someone hit the thumb down by mistake. Been away from the Ooh. phone eating Chinese, so I think I think Nick must have hit it by mistake. <laughs> I had vegan chili con carne for dinner tonight. Look, it's like that. It's like that scene from the Matrix when they're talking, when the little kids talking about the spoon. When you realise at the end of it, it's not so much that the spoon's bent or not, kind of thing. That there is no spoon, but in this case, there is no thumbs down. Yeah, it's just a. a 
was never there the time it didn't happen <clears throat> to whoever yeah. it is that did it. <laughs> oh, okay. So Nick says it wasn't in his shed and liked it before it went live. So I had a sticking core mask that Dan and Cook for my thing. Well, we had a pub turn up at the hospital um, with a bags and bags of like meals that they've prepared for NHS stuff. So I just need to qualify this for a second. An entire building showed up at the hospital. Oh, you know what I mean. The pub landlord showed up with like a boot full of food and it said beef. What? Beef. What, Al Murray? Al Murray showed up with a boot full of food. <laughs> no. Um, beef chili con carne, it said. So I was like, yeah, I'll have that. Nice rice. Comes home, microwaves it. And the kids look at it and they went, Dad, you do realise it's soya. I went, you what? It's not beef then, is it? But I must say, it was really, really nice. I really appreciate it because I didn't have to cook when I got home. There's lots of soya, uh, so, you know, non-meat. Uh, no, I'm not going into that argument, no. That's it. I'm going to stop myself there. I don't want to offend anybody in the chat. Well, you know, we can always discuss various options here for, for how to describe it. Go on, then. What, describe burgers that are not made of meat? Yes, so that would be corn, right? What? Yeah, but why are they called burgers? It's a burger. The, the burger is separate from the beef part of it. It's a style. It's a pat it's, Technically, it's a patty. But they're still called beef burgers with no meat. A burger is a, is a meat. Yeah. Why call a sausage roll yeah. that's made from veggies a sausage? Exactly. Technically, a sausage roll isn't really a sausage because there isn't a sausage skin on it, is there? Look, sausage rolls are a sore subject today. Oh, okay. So I went back to work thinking, Coughlin's, the bakery, is open. I can get a sausage roll. So we went to the first Coughlin's bakery down in Forestdale. It was shut. So we drove to Mayday Hospital. There's one there that's bound to be open. It was shut. We then went to Coulston. It was shut. And then we twigged it's a bank holiday. Yes. <laughs> I didn't want to be yesterday. You know that way you kind of go, I may, be, I may have missed something, but yeah. Totally forgot it was a bank holiday, so I missed out on my sausage roll today. Hobby Turner says, why have vegetarian bacon? Yeah, it's called Faken, isn't it? Yeah. Well, so for a good reason, no, no. If you go to, if you go to well, Malaysia, for instance, because it's predominantly a, a Muslim country, they can't have bacon. In the classical sense, so they have other types of bacon. Still the same. Still the rasher. Still looks similar, but it's not bacon. All right. Okay. In fact, I think it's called beef bacon. See, Wayne's got it there. Why are they called hamburgers when they're made of beef? Yeah. <clears throat> That's because ham is actually an acronym. In this case, it says hold that mouth. Oh, okay. That's looking really cool, Andy. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it is looking good. Buck, 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 buck. <laughs> Hobby Turner, my brother is vegetarian and we have this discussion regularly. My eldest daughter is vegan and I deliberately put meat products or animal products on top of her uh, vegan stuff in the fridge. Mm. Not to not to wind her up honest. <laughs> ah, Wayne says because they come from Hamburg. Mm. Oh, Jeff Christie. So why didn't it hold back that word? Yeah. Hmm. Barry's obviously got previous and the algorithm knows. <laughs> <laughs> What's that you just put on it, Andy? Sorry? What's that you just put on it to make it shine? Lacquer. Uh... Quick dry lacquer. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> that actually sounded like one then. That sounded like a chicken having its neck stretched. I I used to take the Mickey out of Mum and Dad's chickens when we had chickens, and I'd get them going in the morning, like annoying the neighbours. Um. So yeah. It's, yeah. Right. Cool. Well, there we go. That was nice really? to meet. <clears throat> I'm not going to carve the body because I, I don't actually want to carve the body. No, It'll it looks good. To play with. You just need to sign the bottom of it. Yeah, cool, man. I'll then sign the bottom. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Got that one down. That is Brilliant. cool. Put your mood on the. That's really cool. My camera up. Boy, you that. So where are we up to? 83 quid for the Mantis. Yeah. Yeah, 83 pound. Do you want to see it? 83 pound and he's going to Steve Coombs at the moment. Yeah, there he is. That's what he's auctioning up here for 83 pounds. And he'll, he'll be boxed up and sent. Great. He is awesome. <clears throat> that was always my favourite... Uh, thing that you've carved actually do you not like that Reg? what's that no stop it stop, <laughs> stop it <laughs> that's cool no. when I'm did you carve that cool. do you I'm not like it cool, Reg? no how about if i turn and then maybe you can see his eyes no 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 that's the worst bit oh oh Oh, he's just dropped the leg out of his oh. mouth. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, look what he's doing to me, Cheryl. Don't. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> da, da. Need yes. a bigger boat. <laughs> that's, um, that'll be on the uh, lunchtime live for tomorrow, that one. Um, right, I will not be watching. Okay. <laughs> you, I'll tell you what you should carve, Andy. A massive chunk of popcorn chicken. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I can hear him gagging from here. Um, <laughs> right, cool. So, um, tomorrow we'll be, as I say, lunch on live will be, um, I'll probably <laughs> come in for him. Um, um, I, at the moment, I can't decide whether it's gonna, they're going to be out of wood or whether GPS. Don't know. Um, but um, <clears throat> I'm sure we will decide by tomorrow morning. So, um, yeah, cool. Um, I'll bring oh. those back if that's cool. So, mm -hmm. are you going to do your going once, Jamie? Uh, you want me to do it? Yeah, Yay. please do. Right. So, at the moment, uh, the bid is at. Uh, Eighty-three pounds with Steve Coombs. So we are going once, going twice, and gone. Eighty-three pounds to cool. Steve Coombs. Hang on, you got to wait for the chat to catch up. <laughs> um, and uh, Steve Coombs <laughs> would like the link for the donation. Page, I have please. just put it back in the chat, and so you don't have to scroll can away. You, um, send me your PM me your address, please, so I can get that box out and sent to you. Um, thank you very much, Andy. No, no, thank you, and thank you, thank you, Steve. Thank you, really appreciate that. Um, gentlemen, thank you for being the worms of the year this evening. Um, You're welcome. Thank you very much. Um, thank you to the wonderful people that are in the chat, um, uh, to everybody that's watched, uh, regardless of preference. Um, and thank you uh, for, for um, yeah being here. Thanks for your time. Uh, take care. Bless you. See you tomorrow at lunchtime, one o'clock uh, GMT UK time. Um, thanks to Richard, to JP, to Scott. 
And today, oh. Thanks all. Take care. Bless you. Good night. Take it easy, everyone. Hit the Bye. bloody button. <laughs> Steve, uh, Andy, you. Steve wants an email address. The bloody button. Here. Uh, yeah, sure, Steve. Um, are you on Facebook or um, Instagram or something? It's got to be on Facebook, surely. Have you got your Have you got your email address in the description of your videos? Uh, I think it's in my bio. You can put it put, in this one anyway, can't you? Yeah, I'll put your email address in the description of this video after it's done. Yeah, cool. Um, no, I'm not. Cool. Okay, no worries. I will um, put my email in the description. In fact, you ready? No, I'll put it in the description, mate. <laughs> Catch you later. See you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 See ya.